Look, I don't know what these people see in me I don't know why I don't believe in me When I flow so prestigiously I think the rap game be needing me Didn't know my dream would be so attainable But still out of reach is teasing me Spitting the ether, it's hard for me to be that nigga When I've been that nigga Ever since the itty bitty black boy Hi guys, welcome to the weekend vlog. This is the last weekend before school starts at U Miami. I'm at Pilates right now, starting my Friday um, with an afternoon Pilates session at Solid Core. So I'm in Midtown, but I don't know. I thought I'd vlog this weekend. I don't have anything like super fun going on. Like I'm literally doing nothing, but I really, I'm really not doing anything interesting this weekend. But regardless, Welcome to the vlog. I bought a solid, like a pass to solid core. I think after like my pass is used up, I'm gonna try to find a Pilates in Brickle because I'm so over driving here for every workout class I have. Like I don't know, I don't know why I did that. I told myself that I liked having a little drive, like at least, I don't, no, I don't know why I did that. Oh, I'm cold too. It's supposed to get really cold this week. This weekend, meaning tomorrow, it's supposed to be like 40 degrees, which is really cold. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go into my Pilates class. Wish me luck. I literally did Pilates two days ago, and I'm still really sore. Next day of the vlog, you guys. Happy Saturday. The weather today in Miami is to die for. It's like 50, 60 degrees. It was like 50 degrees this morning. Um when I took Leo out uh, for our little morning walk. And it was so, so nice. This is like my favorite weather. What is wrong with my camera right now? I'm gonna do a little bit of work on my computer right now. It's like 1 p.m. Well, actually I need to make breakfast because my goal was to not have coffee on an empty stomach ever again. Like that was my one of my goals for 2023. Look what I did today though. I had a coffee on an empty stomach. But just because I have really struggled with low blood sugar and also like having a history of like eating issues and like struggling with food and stuff eating three meals a day or two meals a day minimum but eating actual meals every day is super super crucial and that was my goal this year too that i will be eating full meals every day and i will not be skipping breakfast which was always like a super hard thing for me because i would get into horrible cycles where i wouldn't eat till like 6 p.m which is horrible that's horrible for your hormones for your patterns for your like sleep for everything so i'm gonna make some food like a nice big hearty meal with all the nutrients and all the macros and everything. Um, and I hope I'm not so shaky because when I have coffee, I also get really shaky. Um, but I love coffee. I will never stop having coffee. Then I'm going to finish some work on my computer. And then I'm going vintage shopping today, which is super exciting. I actually have literally never been vintage shopping in Miami, which I know is kind of crazy because I really love like thrifting and like... Um, that type of shopping and stuff and i go when i'm in new york because there's just so many like easy stores to get to but here i feel like i never go and i don't really have a lot of friends who i feel like are super into that um and so i just like online shop when i'm here in miami so i'm really excited i'm not going to vlog but i have my favorite jeans on they're a bit baggy but i think i'm also stretching them out and they were already huge so they're really getting big now and then my veja sneakers i think that's how you pronounce it and then because it is a bit colder today, I'm gonna wear this jacket, which I wear this jacket all the time and people are always shocked when I tell them it is also from Target. Like half of my outfit is from Target, um, which is kind of crazy. And then we'll do the Fendi bag. Guys, my little banana toast that I just made was disgusting. The peanut butter in my apartment is all like old and crusty. So I ate like two bites and it just was not for me. So we're gonna, I guess go get like a little Starbucks sandwich, something quick. It's like midnight. I'm about to go to bed and like do my skincare and I'm so tired. I feel like I could fall asleep any second now, but I thought I would show you what I got today. The little pickups from, what are you sniffing at Leo? Um, from today. Also, once I got back, I ended up having to drive all the way to Miami to pick up something for tomorrow. So, and then once I got back to my apartment from Miami, I literally passed out. I was so exhausted. So I'm like, I need to wash my face and get ready for bed because I'm trying to wake up early tomorrow. I realized I actually have had, like, I actually have a way more interesting weekend than I thought I was going to have. So 
sorority recruitment at UMiami is going on or has been going on this past week and bid day which is like the final day like the reveal day or whatever is tomorrow and I'm gonna go because if you didn't know I am in fact in a sorority at UM even though I tend to not be very involved I'm gonna try to go if I can get up and if I have time the thing is I honestly have a lot of work to do and a lot of editing to do I have like I'm redoing one of my clients like portfolio things and it's 40 pages and I haven't started and I'm going into the office on Tuesday um and it's Saturday so I'm like and I need to do that and like all on Monday I'm probably gonna be on doing this whole boat thing I don't know I'm just shocked that my weekend ended up being so busy and somewhat eventful this is the haul starting with these jeans which I was really skeptical about um, they're Levi's. I don't know jeans never fit me So I was like, there's no way they're gonna fit but like I might as well get them because they're cool looking and they fit so well like perfectly like the perfect amount of bagginess like not too tight like I Don't know. I feel like I just got lucky because like even the length I thought they were gonna be too long the length is fine I also had to pick out a scarf when I got them and I really like this scarf actually now that I'm like looking at it more because it's really small and all of my scarves and I'm I thought it would be cute to wear like Like on my head like that all of my head scarves that I like put on my head are like big scarves so like um That like you could wrap literally around your body and so they always are just like so big and this one is like the perfect Perfect size. It's like a gray Nike t-shirt cute. Yeah, you guys that was my Saturday now I'm gonna try to go to bed and I'm gonna try to wake up early so that I can like do all that work that I just mentioned and attempt to go to the bid day event because I feel like it would actually be pretty fun. about to go head to campus i stopped and got a coffee this morning because i'm literally out of all groceries all almond milk all like my essentials so i'm gonna have to order groceries tonight but i'm actually excited for bid day this will be fun to see all the sorority girls enter my little sorority girl era um sometimes i do get a little nervous though because like i know everyone but at the same time i don't actually have like a lot of close friends like my close friends aren't in a sorority wait the elevator's coming what I was saying is that I like know everyone in my sorority, of course, but all of my like close best friends, um, and I feel like I tend to have like a smaller circle, are not actually in the sorority anymore. So like I don't know people super well. So like we're like going to the suite, whatever, doing the bid day, which I've never done an in-person bid day, so I have no idea what it's gonna be like. And then, which already makes me a little like oh, I'm a little nervous. And then we're supposed to be like taking buses over to some penthouse type thing, which is I know like so you Miami, but um that makes me nervous. The whole bus situation like reminds me of like having to like pick a partner and stuff. But also I'm stupid. Do I need to go back up to my apartment because I I'm wearing jeans right now, like literally the same outfit I wore yesterday. But I also brought a little denim skirt. It's just like a little bit too big for me, so I don't know if I want to wear that. Okay guys, was I telling you all yesterday that like one of my goals was to not have coffee on an empty stomach And I just drank this massive coffee and have not had food yet I'm sure there will be food at like Bid day like there always is but It's probably not gonna be like food that I want anyway We're almost here almost there and I was just texting my boss. I literally have so much work to do I have to prep Go follow health and body on instagram you guys i run the social media i've been running it for like a year kind of i mean i started just making videos but now i like officially manage all the social media um but we literally hit 50k which is insane because when i started working and like helping emily out my boss with health and body literally it was like a thousand followers or something like that so it's really really cool to see that like growth and know that like i kind of had a little part in it and stuff which is really exciting but i I have to prep literally a whole month's worth of like feed planning um, for approval today and I'm at campus not sitting at my desk doing what I probably should guys like why am I nervous I'm always slightly nervous for everything I'm gonna be so shaky <laughs> 
What a world we've been living in. What's the year we'll begin again? Maybe then I can get it in when I had shit. Get up in the club with all the red shit. going bad shit. Whoa. Fires got me fired from a higher place. I didn't grind it on my life just to get erased. Angry, but I really didn't have no time to waste. I'm buckled down and work and ended up on buckling. Hi, guys. I'm going to go to OOTD. So I got these from Amazon in London. I got this from London. I don't know where. $15 or pounds or whatever. Golden Goose, Uniqlo, ankle socks. Bernie Melville. Controversial, but we're not talking. Here is now to expose the truth. The government never cared what we living through. It's coming out black lives, listen yelling blue. So the police find looking like the soldiers do. That's some crazy shit. Could you be a robbed by an idiot? Fuck. But the only other kid in the dance I've been violent and here I'm running fit for being president. Like in any way. I need that new shit's waiting on me. Hi, welcome to Bidday. This is a Bidday after party. There's a lot of people here. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah. This is Siggy. Hi. We have some paper fish sushi for dinner. I'm now gonna relax and sit on my couch while I do my work and all my editing and planning. And I literally have a lot to do. I feel like that's what I'm gonna end up doing for the, the entire rest of the night, which is fine. So I need to order groceries so bad. Like the fact that I had to buy a coffee out today and I had to buy, like, I just had to buy this, like, I need groceries. So I'm gonna try to order them for tomorrow, but I'm gonna be gone all day tomorrow as well, being social. So. I don't know. I don't even know what the plan is for tomorrow. Um, but I'll take you guys with. Morning, guys. Next day of the vlog. It's um, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so I feel like a lot of people have off work. I'm not really sure, but today I'm up early. It's like 8.30. I just dropped... My apartment key is off to my friend. She's gonna take care of Leo for the day. She's gonna just like stop by and let him out because I'm going to West Palm, I believe. I still don't even know where we're going or what's going on, but I'm going with my friend to go on a boat in West Palm, but it's also like a shoot, like a photo shoot for a brand or something. I really don't know what the deal is. I don't even know where we're going yet, um, but I'm going over to this guy's house right now where he, He's gonna drive us, and she, my friend's already there. So, I don't know. I really don't know the situation, but I do know that I need to turn left right now. We we're all the way, and we came all the way to West Palm for a boat. Literally, <laughs> we would though. Yeah, it wasn't well, that bad. Kind of drive, the so. drive, yeah. We got a little short, a short floor. Yeah, I literally did work in the back, so. It's nice though, the fact that we're just literally yeah. moving the car. <laughs> we're literally just going over yeah. there? Yeah, that's <laughs> We might as well just stay here. Yeah, I know. Elevator music. At least I'm we're shooting. shooting. We're we're um a little shoot, but like little oh. professional photo shoot. So shot, 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 shot. At least it's shot, like to get. <laughs> <laughs> Becoming in placenta Lyrics hit you like this Smith and Wesson Ammo going blammo out the chamber Rat it tatter Gotta catch them all Before they match my anger Slick with the language That pins over boats My noggin omnipotent From channeling through the Holy Ghost Y'all really don't know what pain is Until I play this I fuck up your mental state of being Then I'm leaving Adios Hop on a beat And I leave it Need in the funeral I'm like I'm pulling over I'm thinking about yeah, the yeah. 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 Feeling like oh she made me Want to date me And she got to know How spoiled she would be she did it already okay. it I'm what? just a nothing having anti-social sort of daddy Only time I smash is on Nintendo when I'm button mashing Work my gluteus maximus off to make it with this rapping Get a bag then take it home just so I could go feed the family So fucking raw with the lyrical acrobatics Some are sold on the beat My mind is sharp as a cactus Be positive and all the cities Determine that nothing matters Till we give you purpose It's worth this living haphazardous But I'm still laying flat on this cozy trap yeah. on my mattress Trying to find direction Most of my life has been pretty pathless And I've been feeling like Adam Smith Trying to find direction Most of my life has been pretty pathless And I've been feeling like most of my life has been pretty pathless and I've been feeling like Atlas with the whole world on my shoulders It's got me wondering how long I could hold it And to be honest with you, shit 
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know.